Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Harrison and welcome to School of Swipe. So today I will be talking about Trello and a couple of ways that I like to use it. So basically, um, I think Trello is currently used a lot in uh, small startups and businesses nowadays and um, quite a few of my friends have been moving it into schoolwork as well but um, I just believe that you can use Trello for like anything. You can use Trello for your own personal projects and uh, projects that are uh, stuff that you have to do on your own stuff that has that you want to do that has nothing to do with work um, anything to do with your personal life anything um, yeah basically you can use Trello for anything so let me just jump right into it and show you a couple of past projects that I've done or used Trello with um, so generally what you're looking at right now is my first um, it's just a demo board so what I usually like to do with it is maybe put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday so I can see the whole week in detail. So I created a couple of sample cards as well, so let's just take a look at them. So um, yeah, uh, I just want to show you a couple of things that we can do. So for example, I can drag, select the file from my desktop and drag it and it automatically uploads it. So a lot of apps, apps are ha having a lot of people code web apps have the ability to do that nowadays but I just find it's very very convenient and you can see it even appears here so I think it's great. Um, you can create a checklist and something that's great is that you can even when you are creating a checklist you can even create a checklist of a template so uh, you can copy items from so maybe you can create a template checklist like for example if you need to do your housework every single week you can create a checklist called like housework template checklist so uh, you know in fact let, let's do it right here so so let's say uh, I'm gonna create a checklist called like do housework okay so I'm going to say uh, clean, clean room and you know do laundry and sheet floor and wash dishes I don't know Okay, so that is the housework that you have to do every single week on a certain day. So what happens is that you shouldn't delete this because the next time you want to create a checklist, you can just create like new list and then you can copy the items from your housework list and then boom, you have a new list right there. So you know, it's just something that can help you save some time. So of course you can just delete something like that. Okay, so the other thing that I want to talk about is labels. So um, you can create your own labels, like I've created these labels here, but um, generally uh, you can use this to mark you know, how urgent it is, you can use it to, to mark um, what the topic is. Generally I wouldn't mark it on like time or how urgent it is, I'll come to that later. But um, so yeah, just labels I'll usually, maybe if it's a different subject or you know if uh, there's something different about it, but generally yeah, that's what I do with it. If you want different people to do do it, or if it involves different people, what you can do is add members to it. So it helps if you have like you know your family members or whoever else is involved also in Trello, so you can just like let them know that you know this card pertains to them or something like that. So something else you can do is there's this menu at the side, so you can do this thing, press power ups. So for power ups, you can choose like the calendar power up. I always use the calendar power up. Um, the other two, I don't know. I, I don't use it very often. Not very useful for me. But um, so you can always enable this calendar view. Um, so you can go like by week, I or by month, so you can see what's coming up next. So generally, when I was still uh, in school, I did like you know when something was due, uh, major milestones. Um, I even put like. Uh, a card there to say like you know it's two weeks before something so it's basically like um it, it works almost the same as an offline calendar but i can move stuff around so i it, i can easily change the due date of stuff so um yeah i can even like jump in and modify it it's just another way to look at things so uh this is just a sample board they call this big thing a board and then in this each gray thing is called a list and then inside each list it's called a card so basically that's what they do so I'm just going to show you other than this example I'm just going to show you this is my real board so one of the things that I did was um, a, a trip to Japan so I um, made this board when I was planning my trip to Japan so um, 
as you can see it's organized by day uh, I didn't feel the need to put it in the calendar because um, to me it was it was just one week it wasn't going to get shifted around or anything so I just put it in uh, every day of the week was um, was uh, a list and then the things that I wanted to do every day it was was a card so what I could do was just like move stuff around and you know for instance this in, in this case I put blue to mean like which hotel that we're staying in or, or green to mean that we're staying in a different hotel um, and yeah basically you can do all sorts of stuff you can I I put in many many things so many things and yeah the thing I like about it is that you know it has a mobile app you can use it on your computer on your phone on your iPad so uh, it's pretty good one thing I would like to improve is that well, one thing that is a bit lacking is that you need to be connected to the internet to, see, to access your information but um, yeah so if, if you're not then that might be a bit of a hassle so just to check I'm going to switch off the internet on my iPad and I'm going to go into Trello so let's see what happens and there's nothing there so what I recommend is that if you're going somewhere where there's no internet, maybe you should open it on your mobile device and take a screen capture or something like that of the relevant information until you can get back your internet. So um, another one is houses sorted by rooms. This is also in my parents moved house and they wanted to, they had so many ideas uh, about what they wanted in each of the rooms. So I made, you know, this board just saying what needs to be put into which room. So again i like it because you know i can just take it and move things around um yeah but seriously um the thing that you can put into these boards is, is almost unlimited you can use it in anything so the last one i wanted to talk about is group projects so group projects is i think the reason why trello was created in the first place i think that's where it really shines so generally there's two ways of um sorting it according to how many people um sorting according to who each card is relevant to for me since this is a small group i i don't mind having like a list for each uh person so um like to do i put this to do as like anyone can do it um you know yeah anyone could and if you have the time just put it on your board just say that you did do it and um yeah and generally each thing is put in that person's to do list and when they're done, oh yeah, if you're done with a card, you can just click archive on the card and or you can just click archive this whole list or archive all cards in this list. So archive this list and all cards in this list is a little bit different. If you archive all the cards in this list, the whole list will still be there. And you can still create new cards and then archive them as you go along. But if you archive this list, this whole list is gone. You have to create a new one if you know if you want to. Um, for me, what I ended up doing was a mixture because I, I could do two things. I could use the little icon at the bottom to mark who should be doing which task or I could just put them in a list like this. Um, so so I did a mixture of both. I, I just put it in the list like that so everyone can see which task is assigned to them. But if I feel that one or more people should take credit for doing this task. I just put the the little square thing there. So what you can do is like like drag it, and it's there. So um yeah, like like I said, this is Trello, and I love using Trello. So um wait, hang on. Um a few small things you can change the background, you can do power ups, you can do this. But I, yeah, I bet everything's like aged for a long time ago and our calendar was like really 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 busy a long time ago this was back in april so um yeah see there's like so many things there so so yeah okay i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know how you like to use trello or if you will be trying it soon for all your personal projects and you know i just hope this video has helped you in some way if you find it useful please leave a comment like and subscribe and yeah, just let me know what other videos you'd like to see. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.